So I was, um, I believe the technical term is MWDXing, which is basically a term for I'm try intentionally trying to pick up radio stations that are not broadcasted in my neighborhood. And, um, blah, blah, blah. Since I live in Minnesota, the, some of the more, some of the interesting stations that I could actually pick up that weren't from my area of Minnesota, if, for those of you who aren't from Minnesota, we have this big area down in, basically, min we refer to Minneapolis and St. Paul as the city, uh, we're getting redstone, ladies and gentlemen, I have forgotten that I needed redstone. Uh, but anyways, we, um, the, the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, we just refer to as the cities, and I was able to pick up, uh, what's it, WCCO for a bit, and then I was able to pick up KSTP for a bit down there, but then one station that really came in clear that I did not listen okay well first off when I'm listening to a station that I do not know well when I know that the the channel the frequency is not one in my area I will listen to it and wait for commercials or for the weather the weather the weather to come on and then the um, usually they'll say the call sign there and then I'll just look up the call sign on Wikipedia or the um, horridly undocumented FCC database. Hi, Skelly. You can't shoot me. I'm riding a horse. Ooh, bacon. But um, but yeah, I actually managed to pick up a station down in Iowa for a bit, and this is just using my little bookshelf stereo with the loop antenna on it. So. Yeah. It was a conservative talk radio station, too, so... Yeah. Not something that I would really enjoy listening to. Redstone would be over here. Let's grab a couple stacks just to be sure. If you don't speak Spanish, that says, Did you shut the door? It's actually, I really kind of like how this area turned out for now. Because it is like, you know, you have the cabin, the sauna, there's a mine down over on the other side of that bay. That side of the bay. There, there, where is it? Yep, yep, right over. Come on, load chunk. Yep, yep, there it is. There it is. Mm. Okay. I might actually start making some actual roads here. Possibly, or like, because eventually I'm planning on starting up another portal network, and yeah, hopefully that'll work. But um, until then, I don't know. Roads, horse roads, might actually be a pretty good idea because horses are good for traveling. Minecarts, especially Nether minecart metro networks, are useful from what I've worked with. back on the really old server map, and this was the original one that I was on, um, I actually made a metro system on there, and it was actually very, very cool and very, very interesting. That was before I was a... That was before I actually really even started recording. Very, very well before. Okay. You know what else we can do here to make this really, really interesting? We can build a viewing window in here. Oh. We're gonna need to walk around here until we find a 
chunk boundary. Boundary of the trunk. Good to know. Good to know. Get another pickaxe here. But that's gonna be my thing. I'm just going to just lunge through the air and land like right in front of a crafting table. That that would actually be really really fun. Why do I only have three obsidian? I'm saving the pickaxe because I plan to enchant it because By the way, I usually don't do redstone where I actually dig out a room where the redstone is going to go and then build it, but I'm actually feeling about thinking about I'm actually doing it this way this time. Um, okay, so we need a dis we need a dispenser here. TF2 players out there, I get the joke, the fact that I even attempted to say that in a Boston accent. <clears throat> so, oh, let's see here, we're going, well, we're not going to stick with that in you just yet. Uh, what else do we need? Oh yeah, we need to cook some smooth stone up. And while that's going on, I might as well run down and get some more obsidian. The one more piece I forgot. Now the grinder I'm building on um, the the thing, the thing, whatever the thing is. Um it's did I see it first on Ethos thing? Yeah, it was Ethos. What's it? The. The, um. Was, yeah, it was the Stronghold base. Um. I'm gonna actually leave you there. Um. Yeah, it was the Stronghold base when he was using it as an XP grinder. I have no plans to sort this, but. Well, after all, it is just zombies, and we can get lots of iron from it. Um, but, you know, oh, we here, let's go to the crafting table. I mean, a enchanting table. Okay, so I'm magical. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now that we need to dig out a spot to put the enchanting station. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. One, two, three. Alright, 
Alright, so this, what I'm building here, these lovely glowstone blocks are not even just going to be glowstone blocks at all, they're going to be lamps. The thingy, yes, yes, because that, that's totally a definitive name for it. That's where you're gonna go. That was actually really funny when I was picking up that conservative talk radio station from Iowa, wherever it was in Iowa. Um, was this guy complaining about how o Obama hasn't done anything? And blah blah blah. And it, it was talking about how the Obama voter was like disconnected from reality. And you know what the really, really comical thing was? I looked up this guy on Wikipedia and he is apparently a registered Democrat. <laughs> Talk about irony. torches out because that should be bright enough to prevent spawns looks like it is that should be enough if it's not we can always just make more Yes, it looks like it does. That's kind of a really bad position. Mm. We're gonna let him go down and we're gonna actually change the viewing window. Mm. Here, don't know where my inventory is. I don't. This isn't stuff people usually do on camera, is it? <laughs> As for you, sir, poor <laughs> <laughs> Oh, potato. I say potato, you say potato. I say tomato, you say tomato. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. I can take the F3 screen off. <sighs> uh, let's see here. What did I want? Uh, 
first. Put you in there now. Um, what did I need for that? Oh yeah, right. Piston. Might actually. We can drop off the uh, signs. That should work, right? We'll just take this lever. I swear the hordes of the undead are going to be swarming me soon. Um, actually, wait, we're going to need a pist another piston and gravel. So might as well just make the, the bookshelves now. Because I'm going to need them soon. I have not played with particles in a long time. This looks so weird. Okay, we have that. Alright, now uh, the other piston. Pretty soon we should have a working zombie spawn grinder, but I'm not entirely sure about that, so, um... Because I like to carry an exact stack of gravel on me, because gravel really comes in handy. Um, we're also going to need a repeater, aren't we? Yep. Now, if only I had found a skeleton spawner, then I would have, you know, made a, uh... Made an arrow farm. This has to uh, move back one. Since we're going to need another lever back here, and we have an extra stick. Anyways, we might as well do this. When I flip this lever, that should click twice. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Southwest rule or something?
There we go, now it's going through twice. So now then I can just light this up back here so we don't have any bloodthirsty nasties spawning to kill me and then it looks like we have our very own zombie spawn grinder. Actually, you know what else? We might want to stick them on a this so that the baby zombies can't jump through and do me. Off be the gen. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for a few to get a mast here. <laughs> I might actually fancy this up in a later date, but for now, it's pretty good. I might actually replace the rest of the ceiling with cobblestone sometime, but that'll be another day. Are they, oh, that, that'll be why. efficiently collecting other zombie spawns well, here we're waiting. And yeah, I'm gonna level 30 this pick to end the episode. Oh ha 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 You too, Kenny Loggins. I'm gonna have to explain that. I know it's a uh, day of playing TF2 where there was somebody on the other team whose name was Ken Loggins and he was the top of the team and so we had several jokes in the call I was in about how about Kenny Loggins being a good musician and then blah 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 and what else went on down there. Um, but then you know one of us said, oh no, I killed Kenny Loggins, and then, and then his friend killed me. And then, you know, we were like, oh, you can make that into a song. So I did. Come on, zombies, I want to level 30 this big sometime, sometime before the next winter comes. You can actually 
actually probably make this a bit more of a balcony. Actually. Seriously, does it take this long to get 30 levels off of a zombie grinder? Gosh, I'm gonna be insert scouring the nether for a blaze farm soon. In there? Oh my god. I'm so weird. Efficiency fortune. Well, hey, it's fortune. Thirty levels, really, 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 dinner bunny. Well, we'll see you guys in the next episode, and until then, remember la torta es una mentira siempre. Alright, I'm gonna wait for my health to heal here for a bit, but I feel like I should show you guys the proper way to deal with the pain with the witch. First things first, find a skeleton, get these skeleton to shoot the witch. Nope. Skeleton. Nope. Sword, 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 gotcha. Great, we got cocaine. And now, hop up and over! And that is how you deal with a witch, and you, know, you only get cocaine out of it. <laughs> 